Hi, and welcome to the second episode of the IOTA Lighthouse webinar series. Today, I'm going to be uh, talking to you about the collaboration between Zebra Technologies and IOTA. Zebra Technologies is a market leader in the uh, automatic identification and data capture uh, market. So they produce uh, barcode scanners and RFID readers and printers uh, for um, uh, businesses uh, or for, for supply chain uh, use cases, so for scanning of um, consignments and for um, logistics providers and yeah, this sort of application. Okay, so a little bit about myself. I'm Severin Skillman. I've been working with the IOTA Foundation as a full stack engineer. I've been involved uh, in this collaboration for just under a year. And yeah, today I'll be giving you an overview of what we've been, um, what we've been doing with Zebra. So the, the collaboration uh, is mainly uh, focused on building interoperable, open and secure infrastructure uh, to increase transparency and traceability of supply chains. So we are hoping to enable an ecosystem of trusted and decentralized supply chains uh, by linking Zebra's uh, technologies, so their AIDC technologies, uh, with the IOTA Tangle. And yeah, so there are a number of challenges um, in supply chains today, which we are <clears throat> hoping that IOTA can play a role in improving. So for example, supply chains tend to be, or supply chain processes, sorry, tend to be very siloed and centralized um, and being created as single solution systems. So it's quite often, um, you know, that you'll have maybe a handful of partners or sometimes bigger consortiums that come together to build a system and they agree on a, on a, on a platform or something. Uh, but it's never really a holistic solution. And there's often a lot of different uh, silos that are being built and are based on um, centralized systems. And one of the big problems within supply chains is that there's a lack of trust and, and a lack of transparency. Uh, a lot of um, companies are, of course, competing with other companies. So, you know, they like to keep their supply chains uh, relatively um, under wraps. They don't want to expose too much information. Um, but at the same time, uh, it does benefit everyone to be a little bit more transparent about some of these uh, processes. And so I IOTA enables uh, a trusted record of supply chain data trails and uh, allows for companies in the supply chain to, uh, to to defeat some of these challenges. Within IOTA, we're, we have two uh, main frameworks that we're using to, uh, to, to build with Zebra. We make use of IOTA streams, uh, which allows us to publish uh, supply chain event proofs. So in the supply chain, uh, whenever uh, something is being scanned or is being moved to a warehouse, um, these events are, uh, are very important uh, to know what's going on and where everything is in the supply chain. And quite often this information is shared. Uh, and so using IOTA streams, we can uh, create uh, proofs of these events and store those or anchor them on the tangle so that subsequent uh, uh, users of this event information can verify uh, that you know, the events that, that they are looking at are indeed uh, true or, you know, correct. So in addition to that, we're also making use of IOTA identity and IOTA identity enables us to onboard and verify supply chain identities and credentials. So in, uh, you know, in, in any supply chain, you have many different companies working together uh, and these companies or organizations should have an identity uh, with which they can identify each other and also to be able to make claims about each other in a way that's uh, uh, trusted and verifiable. And so, yeah, 
we make use of the IOT identity framework for this purpose. Uh, during this collaboration, we've been building uh, two main uh, projects. We have the track and trace ledger APIs. So these are a set of APIs that uh, can record supply chain data trails associated with uh, items in the supply chain. Supply chain. And a lot of these, um, oh, sorry, these APIs are actually available on uh, Zebra Savannah, which is Zebra's uh, developer platform. Uh, in addition to that, we're working on the uh, Zebra Edge uh, SDK. And this, uh, this SDK is enabling the use of IOTA identity for devices and organizations. So we, we, we've baked in the IOTA identity framework into this project and showcase how, how you might use um, the technologies in this context. Okay, and so over, over the last few years in this collaboration, we've, uh, we've managed to get these APIs deployed on Zebra Savannah. And these are available and accessible to developers that are making use of Zebra's technologies. We've also released the, the identity enabler, which is part of the Edge SDK. And this is an open source GitHub repository, which is uh, being managed by, uh, or is available on the Zebra devs GitHub uh, right now. Okay, so I'll, I'll now be playing a, a short video that showcases the Z, uh, Zebra IOTA Edge SDK. Um, so it should be about a seven minute video. Hello everybody and welcome to this demonstration of the Zebra IOTA Edge SDK. I'm going to develop the demonstration using a Zebra DC21 device enabled with Zebra Data Witch technology. First of all, the Zebra IOTA Edge SDK includes a set of reference applications that can be used to exercise all the functionality offered by this SDK. First of all, is the holder application that I install in my, in my device. And you can see that now it is open. In this holder application is a wallet for, of credentials so the user can manage and present, present his credentials. So to start up using the application, you need to set a name for your wallet and then automatically a new identity, decentralized identity is going to be created for our user and recorded anchored to the IOTA distributed ledger. Once an identity is created, we can start adding new credentials to our wallet. However, here we are going to add ourselves, our own credentials, but in a real case, those credentials will be imported from those issued by a real issuer. We add a new credential. This credential will be self-signed. It means that the issuer and the subject are just the same. You can find here the information about the credential and the important part is the subject. The subject contains the decentralized identifier of our user and the one that we created in the initial step of this application. You can find here other personal information. Then the, these credentials can be presented to a proper verifier. This is done through the shared credential. The way of presenting a credential is through a data matrix code. The data matrix code just encodes the JSON-LD representation of a verifiable presentation. You can see here what is the JSON-LD code that is actually behind the data matrix code. As now, uh, we will need to verify, to present the credential and then verify. As I only have one device, what I'm going to do is to capture the data matrix code and then scan it, the, the, the data matrix code using the verifier application. I'm going to capture. And when it is captured, it will be in my screen. And 
in my screen, I now can go to the verifier application and scan the data matrix code. Once the data matrix code has been scanned, the um, signatures included in the credentials are going to be verified using the public key materials recorded on the decentralized identifier, which remember that it is anchored to the IOTA distributed ledger. In this case, it is a valid credential with all the data that we saw, uh, we have shown before. As the last step in our demonstration, I'm going to show to you how a new, a new device identifier can be obtained for a device. And the steps that I will be showing is how a device can be actually onboarded on a supply chain so that there is end-to-end -end traceability for the events generated by that device on supply chains. For doing so, I'm going to go to another application, which is the device identifier application. In this application, I start with setting a name for my device. And after setting a name for my device, a new decentralized identity for the device is going to be generated. But our objective is to actually obtain a new verifiable credential for our device that contains all the claims that can be made by that device. So first of all, we need to request a device ID credential where we generate a QR code that just contains all the claims made by the device and that, that will be used by the owner of the device to issue a credential for the device. So in this case, these are the uh, claims made by the device, like the identifier, the model, the manufacturer, et cetera. So with this data matrix code that I'm going to capture as well, we can go to the issuer application. So I have now my data matrix code capture. And I can go now to the issuer application that in our case is just the same. Sorry. Is just the same as the holder application. And here we can just capture the data matrix code. We now have the device claims. And with these device claims, we are going now to issue a credential, in this case, where the subject of the credential is the device itself. So we issue the credential. And now we have a credential for our device. Well, now the last step is capture, so sharing this credential to our device so that the device now will have in its wallet the credential just generated. So we can, we do this, uh, the same procedure. And now we go to the device ID application to the next step. And we just capture the data matrix that contains the credential for the device. And the important thing now that you can see is the subject of our credential is actually the DID associated to our device and the issuer of the credential is the device owner, myself. And as I said before, this credential can be later presented by the device against, for instance, the track and trace ledger API so that there is end-to-end -end traceability for the device events generated by this device and traceability against those business events, for instance, EPCIS events that have been generated, that have been uh, associated to those device events. Okay, I hope that demo was interesting and uh, thought provoking. Um, I would like to continue now to um, uh, the last uh, section of this webinar, which is to tell you a little bit about the future revisions of the collaboration. Uh, so we have a vision envisions a future where, you know, there are transparent and trusted end-to-end -end supply chain processes uh, in which we can guarantee uh, provenance of the data, authenticity, uh, of, sorry, prov provenance, authenticity, and compliance of the data that's uh, being produced uh, in the supply chain. Uh, and also a future where we have a decentralized system uh, that can share the relevant data with relevant people in this, or relevant organizations in the supply chain. 
And we, we can imagine that the, the impact is quite large. Um, there are, um, there's a lot of issues with trust in supply chains and if we can adopt uh, IOTA into this context, uh, there's a lot of potential to increase trust uh, between organizations there. And there is also a big um, opportunity here to create new business models and applications because you're now able to uh, have much greater uh, visibility over entire supply chains. So so-called tier and supply chains. So traditionally most uh, organizations, they, they have visibility of their suppliers and maybe their supplier suppliers. But beyond that, uh, it gets increasingly, very quickly, increasingly uh, difficult to see what's going on and where everything is coming from. And so, yeah, there's, there's a huge potential there to tap into this uh, transparency of the entire supply chain, um, which uh, is very interesting to, to see. And lastly, we also have the opportunity to break down the silos that are existing today. And for a lot of organizations, this is a great opportunity to reduce costs. Uh, it is expensive to, to make integrations with lots of different uh, suppliers on your own, but if you can make use of an existing shared infrastructure, uh, then you are able to integrate much more quickly, uh, more simply and with less costs. Yeah. So thank you very much for listening in and we hope you enjoyed this presentation.